I'm known for shooting cars, but I, I don't consider myself an automotive photographer. I, I shoot the culture. And cars are beautiful, man, and I love, I love the cars. But it's the people that make the shot. Given full creative freedom to shoot this G80, man, that's a dream come true. You don't get that when doing jobs like this. You know, my style of photography and, and, and what I'm known for shooting, I really wanted to take the viewer on a, on a trip through, through my Los Angeles. And so starting out at the Palms on Freeman. Just screaming LA. Obviously right here, it's Palms. But beyond the palms, we got all this mess of power lines, which really creates a cool little juxtaposition. And then the planes. Look at me. And then Amara, look, look up, Amara. Yeah, there you go. Other way, other way. So I can, so I'm shooting to the driver's side, yeah. Exactly. This rear three quarters good. The, the profile was good. I mean, the, the grill on the front's real strong. I haven't seen a bad angle yet. That's it, we're good. That's what I do. I've just always been in the arts. Coming up in Los Angeles as a as a young kid on the skateboard and the graffiti writer and you know, had a little old Canon film camera that would just, you know, shoot the graffiti all over the streets and fell in love with documenting the city. Our next location, my friend Neezy's ranch, the taking over stables. Cowboy culture in Compton has been around for many, many generations, and I think it's been like the best kept secret of uh, the greater Los Angeles area. The Himalayan gray is great. Uh, it's real diverse. I can place it in a bunch of different settings, and I knew I was gonna kind of get that look that I'm going for. It just fits. So now we're in the backyard of the stables. Back here, there's so much room to just, just pepper some color throughout the shots. We got different animals. We might be the first uh, person to shoot a Genesis with a baby goat. In the middle of Compton, California. Look at this scene. It's incredible. All right, I'm good. Got it. For me, this was my first time Working with not only working with Genesis, but but definitely being involved with them, driving driving the car, definitely a pleasant surprise. Beautiful car, man. This car is smooth. Sixth Street Bridge, you know, two years ago would have been just a complete cliche. I would have stayed away from it, and I actually still had thought about staying away from it until I went down there and looked through that one little spot. That juxtaposition of the steel beams and with that wave of those new arches, kind of reminded me of what we're working with there, with the lines and the curves and the edges and the smooth, so I felt like I had to do it. We're gonna use these lines. I'm gonna place this G80 right in between this bridge. I'm gonna turn around real quick, try to get him lined up. So many lines to play with, man, it's just too much fun. There's just so many opportunities for cool light, whether you're just talking about some fluorescent, some neon. Being in this G80, it just seems like a natural fit. I mean, pulling it up in front of the theater, it just seems to fit perfectly, the vibe downtown. Elegance, powerful lines. That grill's almost mean looking for a, such an elegant car. You know, it gives it a little bit of toughness. The biggest challenge was figuring out a way to present this Genesis in a way that was unique. Like, how do you present a, uh, an automobile in Los Angeles? I mean, every automobile ad there is is shot here. My first location with the trees and those very distinct lines that I think complemented the, the lines of that car. My second location, parked on grass, surrounded by horses, I thought was, was almost the exact opposite of what I started with. But I think that that, that contrast and juxtaposing those lines with those natural curves of the horses worked out pretty well. And then jumping to the bridge, I mean, we had both. You have really harsh lines of the construction, but then you could see the arch, which I thought complemented the, the curves of the car really well. The G80 definitely seems like it's at home anywhere. So far, I've put it through all different site types of locations and scenarios, and it definitely, it seems to fit everywhere I put it. Mm -hmm. 